first since in 2016 through your growth. And now we look now at 2021. If you could look back at, at that Tyro back then, what could you say has changed from that moment? The knowledge that I've obtained and the experience, I mean, the things that I've went through just through these last four years have been uh, been been really good for me in, in, in a way. You know, um, I had an injury, two surgeries that I was out for a whole 11 months and couldn't train. I got knocked out for the first time in my life that really uh, was a big wave for me. It carried on for a little bit that more than I expected, but it was a good mental mental challenge for me to just get past that and work through that. And so it's just a lot of things that you learn about yourself and growth within the sport that I think that, you know, the Tyrell at first coming into the sport, I had no idea that this sport would present those challenges and, you know, would be would be that much work for me. But no, I think it's a I would I love the where I've ended up now in the last four years since I've started. Mandel, how you doing, brother? Good. How are you? Doing as well as I can. And for you, man, 2020 has been such a hard year for so many people, but also so eye opening. So for yourself, what did you learn during everything that went down during that year? Uh, in 2020, still 2021 is also crazy. But uh, yeah, you just have to understand what what type of things you really value, right? Um, that was the main thing. I think everybody kind of came came upon that same epiphany uh in 2020 is just like you, you there are things that you can you can let go and there are things you really value and uh it, it really kind of narrowed in on w- what actually keeps me going in life i don't know if that's any good i don't know just what you said about what values for you and through yourself through your career when it's all said and done what do you hope to look back on to say I'm proud of what I've done in my life. The ultimate goal is to be considered one of the best fighters uh, to have done it. Um, there's a lot of work to be done, but that, like, as far as a career goes, that's it. Uh, that would be the ultimate goal. Jack May, how you doing, my brother? I'm good, man. How are you? Can't complain. And awesome. man, when the when the when the call came for you to step in to fight against Tyrell, at one point did you ever even stop to think, should I do it, or were you just like, give me the ball, I'm gonna run with it? Uh, give me the ball and let's run with it. For your career, when it's all said and done, because you care about your family so much, what do you want your family to look back at you when it's all said and done, when you hang your gloves up for your career? You know, you you what you get, you get out of it what you put into it. And, uh, man, I came from growing up in a trailer park. Um, uh, God gave me talent, and um, I used it to better my family's life and... Uh, never they never want or need anything um and at the end of the day man i'm just a true warrior that uh has never has never ducked a fight uh has always gone out and live or died by the sword you said that when you saw his eyes you felt that you had it. so how do you control yourself to get the job done without trying to burn yourself out Oh, uh, you know, composure, man, and, and just a lot, a lot of practice, man. You know, we're, we're constantly working on that. Just staying calm. You crack the guy, you know, you see it, recognize it, and then just stay with the game plan. You know, not trying to, not trying to rush anything. Uh, you know, again, if, if you continue, on, if you continue taking your time, uh, staying composed, the finish will come. I, I try to let the finish come to me. So that was, uh, uh, that was a big thing for me, especially going in this fight with him being six seven and uh, being so big not getting overzealous um you know and i've also had i've had fights in the past where i was overzealous and uh, you know just a learning curve uh, honestly earlier in my career getting overzealous getting a little ahead of myself getting caught with with shots that i should have never got caught with so you know uh just living and learning man uh, having the experience that you know i'm blessed inevitably to have the experience that i've had and uh you know again when i seen it i recognized it and just just staying composed man and, and uh finishing the fight your, your whole focus on that and the feeling that you, you said was having fun but sometimes the moment can get so big you get lost in it how do you control yourself to not get lost in that mm, yeah, yeah that's hard i mean you just I, I think you need to just recall your training uh and, and go like okay this is a big event there's a lot of eyes on you, but at the end of the day, you've been doing it for the past, you know, however many weeks and the rest of your life. 
you've been doing it. So you just have to pull yourself back and go, this is just what I do all the time. Instead of thinking, this is one thing I get to do only once, you know? That's, I guess that's it. Not only is this a big rematch between you and Leslie Schmidt, but also too, just now you're you're back with Showtime with Bellator headlining it. So th explain on that. How does it feel to be doing a headlining event again with Showtime? You know, I'm really happy, feel blessed to have this opportunity, you know, back to Showtime. And, you know, I have amazing experience with Showtime last time. You're not know, going to be different. You know, I just getting better fighter and going to be, we're going to be a lot of success together. going to be a new era together. You've been in the fight game since 2008. For the journey that you've been on, through the ups and the downs, now you're here to get that main event for the belt against Cyborg. What would it mean for you, for everything you've been through, to accomplish the goal and win the strap? Oh, man, this is, this is uh, really, um, this is the whole point of everything that I've been doing for all the years. I mean, every single fight that a person takes, they say, this is my biggest fight. But this really is my biggest fight. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at this as the culmination of over a decade of training and, and everything that I've gone through. And uh, I mean, this is, this is the chance to make everything worth it.